everyone, comic book reviewer here, this time reviewing on Transformers Spotlight Drift. Now, as you know, Drift is meant to be a sort of ninja type Autobot former Decepticon, once known as Deadlock, and had appeared in Transformers Age of Extinction, as well as Robots in Disguise and Cyberverse. And yeah, the cover's meant to have Drift in his kind of cool kind of looking pose and the story starts off with an with a unknown alien female saying there these will get you in but only so far as the docking platform you won't have access to the ship you've done more than enough thank you and you pretty much talk about the other transformers and that and we kind of see how yeah there's been death and destruction from every planet and everyone's been trying to avoid them and we kind of see how she realises after touching his arm that he's one of them. And we see him saying, again, my sunks. And leaves. So of course, we kind of see how the unknown warrior, who's known as Drift, enters into the ship in a ninja-like style. And of course, as soon as he gets in, he sees that there's other Decepticons. But soon, we see Cup with... Perceptor, Springer, and Roadbuster saying, Clean him up, we got work to do. And we kind of see how Drift says, So much for quiet. And of course, we see how a the Decepticon ship commander is letting know about the breach in the ship, and he knows who it is, Cup. So we kind of see how Drift shows up, and we kind of see how Cup seems to know who this guy is, and we see how Perceptor is a bit more intrigued by his sort of new sort of model in that. And we kind of see how Cup says, nah, you don't know half of it. And we kind of see how he kind of says that now they got to move and try to find the prisoners. And we see Griff saying, actually, it's probably best I take the lead. No offense, but I'm here for the same reason as you. And I can take you straight to them. And of course, we see the other sort of prisoners being saved, and we see how Perceptor finds out that they've got company, and soon, Perceptor gets blasted, with Turmoil saying, Shoot you straight off, give your position away, amateurs. And we kind of see how they end up getting blasted, and we kind of see how Drift shows up saying, I'm here to save lives. There's the slightest chance. That's what I'll do. And we kind of see how Turmoil knows who it is. And turns out Grift was originally a Decepticon known as Deadlock. And of course, we see him saying, Decepticon traitor. And of course, blasts the hole down where Cup and Drift fall. And we kind of see how Cup knows he's a former Decepticon now, and even points about there was a third function of Transformers who went into exile. And of course, after a spiritual retreat and coming to terms with things, Maydrift realises his mistakes and is trying to atone for everything he did as a Decepticon. And we kind of see how they now have an idea on how to blow up the ship. And so, they mainly set up the sort of ship engines to explode, and we see Cup saying, You know an awful lot about this place. I served under Turmoil, second in command. So of course, just as Turmoil blasts through, we see Cup saying, Go, I'll take care of this. Go! And of course, we kind of see how Cup gets blasted off, and Turmoil saying, We fought you dad, Red Rock. I thought I'd been robbed of this pleasure. And we kind of see how Drift says, Deadlock is dead. My name is Drift. And of course, we see him taking on Turmoil, and even Turmoil pointing off that the Autobots would never accept him, and that no matter what he'll do, his past will always be what it is. And we see him saying, I know what I came here to do. And of course, manages to get off when the ship explodes, and of course, takes Perceptor with him, and escape the ship single-handedly. And after this, we kind of see how Cup decides to take Drift in as a new team member, and we kind of see how Springer has doubts about this, given his past. 
but we see how Kurt makes a fair and justified point that everyone deserves a second chance. And we see how Drift is with a smile, knowing that he's going to earn everyone's trust now, knowing he's going to do the right things. And I think, in my opinion, yeah, Transformers Spotlight Drift is not a bad issue. Again, I think Drift's character works, because you do see him now realise his mistakes, and is trying to atone for every action that he did. And really, you don't need to do an enforced redemption story. You can always do it carefully, show hints to a b bad guy's past, and have them come to terms with their mistakes. So I think this issue still deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.